Hello and welcome back. And if you're watching this video, chances are it's because you are in the market to find a good value 10 gigabit ethernet switch. For those of you that are looking around to upgrade the switch in your home or business environment, finding a decently priced 10 gig switch that is genuine, true 10G can be a right pain. Either that you're looking at switches and then find out they're completely unmanaged and have a very light feature set, or they are managed, but their advertising on what is 10GB and what isn't is erroneous. You're looking at it thinking, well, that's good a price. And then you look at it and it turns out it's got one 10 gig and a pile of one gigs. This video will helpfully solve that for you. Every single one of the four good value switches I'm gonna talk about today are all 10 GBE throughout. They're all managed. They've got priority of service, quality of service, VLAN support, and more. But before we go into our list, we've got to talk about today's video sponsor. Weirdly, it's AliExpress. AliExpress are kicking off their new cashback challenge in March 2025, and it allows you to get 5% cashback on any orders you make. There's a link below and more information on this, but the more orders you make, the more points you get and allowing you to get up to 15% cashback or up to 500 nicker back in your pocket. Now, in order to take advantage of the cashback and the discounts, you need to head over to the AliExpress app and then from there, look for the NAS Compares team. The NAS Compares team can simply be found by going to the search bar and typing in NAS Compares. And from there, you'll find the NAS Compares team page that you can join in order to take advantage of these discounts. Alternatively, you can scan the QR code on screen. Whether you want to invite friends and colleagues to increase the cashback rewards or go it alone and utilize them all for yourself, it's really up to you. And this is taking place during the AliExpress anniversary sale where you can get up to 80% off your orders right now. So you put those two together, you could make yourself a decent little saving. Again, lots of details below in the description. And finally below, you'll also find discount codes for five, 15, 25, and 35 pounds off orders with AliExpress until the end of March. That's the 31st of March, 2025. And thanks again to AliExpress for sponsoring today's video. Now, before I crack on and go through the list of best affordable switches right now at 10 GBE, a few disclaimers straight off the bat. Number one, these are all going to be desktop switches here. You can deploy some of them within a rack mount setting, but they're all designed to be desktop. That way you've got the flexibility. Also, they're all gonna take advantage of either RJ45 or SFP, or in some cases, both kinds of 10 GBE connection, but they have to be almost completely or completely 10 GBE equipped all the way through. Also, price-wise, the most expensive the expensive one is going to be just $299 and the cheapest at $140. Lastly, they all have to be managed support of priority, uh, priority of service, quality of service, uh, VLAN creation there. They've all got to have an element of management either out the box or configuration that you can take advantage of. But really, that's it. So let's crack on with my four recommended value pure 10 GPE switches. Now this is the good top six port 10 GBE switch, knocking out around $140. And this is sort of the whole reason for this video. This arrives with four copper, that's 10 G base T, 10 gig connections, and two SFP 10 gig connections with 120 gigabits per second, per second switching capacity, realistically around 90 to 91 gigabits per second there. Now it has a managed software user interface accessible via the web browser. It's a little no frills, I'll be straight with you, but at the same time, it covers everything you need to know and what it doesn't have in a kind of finesse and polished user interface, it makes up for with a sheer bevy of features. Now we have a dedicated review for this in the works, but I say right now very early doors, it is leaving me impressed. Again, at $140 with internal cooling, although arguably it is a little noisy at times, it does give you everything you're going to need for a fully featured 10 gig connection. Doesn't feature any PoE, but still, right now, I am struggling to find a six port 10G managed switch right now at a lower price point than this. And for those of you that are concerned that you'll be missing out on two ports because you don't take advantage of an SFP or fiber-based network environment, don't fear. You can get a hold of for as little as 20 nicker these SFP to copper connectors here. And once you get one of these, slot it inside the available port, and there you go, you can scale this up very affordably to a six port 10 GPE managed switch solution. Now I know what you're thinking, why after discussing a six port 
$140 switch, am I suddenly now gonna talk about a four times 10 GBE $300 switch? This is $299, this is the Flex 10 gig XG from Unify. It is, for what you are getting, a surprisingly comprehensive desktop switch. Now, as mentioned, it has four 10 gig ports here. Each one of these are copper based 10G there. Now there is a one gig port. What's that for? Well, notwithstanding integrating, you know, management services or maybe a failover, this one gig port here is PoE. That's right. You can power this switch with PoE. Alternatively, there is standard USB-C connectivity there on the rear. The whole system is a heatsink there. There's no active cooling inside. It is silent. And again, finding a silent copper multi-port 10 gig switch is surprisingly tough these days. Now this layer two switch reports an 82 gig switching capacity internally. And there are definitely gonna be those of you who perhaps aren't so invested in the Unify environment wondering, Wait, if I don't have Unify my network, is this just gonna convert into an unmanaged switch? Well, to those users, I would say, number one, yes, this is definitely designed to scale up from an existing Unify environment a lot more. But at the same time, if you get this switch, again, 299 for that much switching capacity, a very, very reliable power efficient build, you can just install a Windows, Linux, Mac, or whatever, the Unify controller on your desktop system and then manage it just like anything else. So don't think not having a Unify environment is gonna limit this device's abilities in your network environment. And also you can scale out comprehensively because of the Unify controller software will allow you to bridge and manage those VLANs that you scale off those 10 gig ports a great deal more effectively there. Overall, this is definitely one of the best built switches on today's list. And I know 299 seems a big scaler over what we just discussed, but for the warranty, support, availability, build quality, and flexibility and power deployment, that makes this an incredibly impressive and I would argue desirable 10 gig uh, switch in 2025. <laughs> Heading back into value territory, I wanna talk about the Sedola 12 times 10 gig SFP managed switch, arriving in either an L2 or L3 profile, depending on your needs. It has a 240 gig internal switching capacity, again, depending on your setup there and the data packets it can scale down. But alongside that, there are managers, you can create and manage up to 4,000 VLANs and 32,000 MAC addresses there. Now, again, this is a value series device, and much like our first entry, the software management panel is a little limited. We've used a few Sodolo products here on the channel a couple of times. Uh, that little six port and the 24 port switch, both of them having the same software. And although it felt a little bit basic, it did do the job. Keep in mind, this is going to be a noisy switch. It's not like that unified device we just discussed. This is by far the loudest switch of all of the devices we're gonna talk about. And again, there's gonna be some of you watching this wondering, SFP is not really for me. Remember, you can still take advantage of those SFP to 10 gig copper adapters, but keep in mind that having too many of them, they do generate a decent amount of heat. So although I will still continue to recommend them in the case of this 12 port switch, I would not use too many of them on this because heat generation is gonna be real on this and it's already a noisy enough switch as it is, heat generation might be very detrimental. But again, at $219, you would be hard pushed to find a fully populated desktop pure 10G switch, 12 ports of all things at that price. And over to Microtech, a brand we don't talk about enough here on the channel, the CRS309. This is an eight times SFP POE powered switch. Arriving at $269, this not only is a managed switch, it actually arrives with dual OS support if you need it. You can take advantage of root OS or SWOS or switch OS, allowing you to configure this device to your very own needs. On top of that, it is fanless. You heard me earlier, not only does it arrive with a standard DC barrel input if you need it, but on top of that, this system can run on PoE, which at this scale, even manages to overshadow that Unify switch I just mentioned there. Now keep in mind, depending on the amount you're going to be utilizing it, that PoE input might not be ideal for everyone, but as this system takes advantage of passive cooling with an enormous heat sink out the back, rather than taking advantage of noisy fans, it is an impressive design choice that we're seeing here on it. 
There are still going to be those that were looking at copper-based 10 GBE. They're going to be less impressed by this, but what 162 gigabits per second switching capacity and an incredibly modest physical footprint, I think for a number of you looking for affordable, but also small scale and low ambient noise 10 GBE switches, the CRS309 is going to be a phenomenal pick for you. Also, it has greater US availability than a number of the options I've discussed today. And finally, a kind of bonus extra. It doesn't really count as a switch, but I wanted to talk about it. This is the Unify Cloud Gateway Fiber. This system arrives with four 2.5 gigabit Ethernet ports and three 10 GBE ports. Now, it does run the Unify controller in the system rather than that switch that we mentioned earlier on that requires either it running on a local client or on another Unify system. And this is more of a gateway, but it can still function as a switch. Now, it arrives at $279 and it has support of inserting an M.2 NVMe as well with uh, options for setting up individual WAN or LAN ports across all of the ports on the device. I include it in this because although it's not strictly a switch, it can be configured to act as a replacement for both a switch and a router in your business home environment. So I recommend you check it out and I'll put a link in the description to both the review, the video, and a few testing things that we're working on this right now. But there you go, those are four, technically five, true 10 GBE budget and affordable 10 GB switches you can get in 2025. There are links below to all of the solutions I've talked about today. And again, thank you so much for AliExpress for sponsoring today's video. Do remember to check out the discount codes and uh, access the links below to that cashback challenge. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.